Hey guys, it's Andy. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of maintenance on my outdoor condenser unit for my HVAC. I'm going to be uh, cleaning up the coils by spraying from the inside of the unit towards the outside. Now what I'm going to need to do first is shut off power. I'll show you how that's done and it's actually done from outside the house. I'll take the top off the condenser uh, where the fan is mounted to to get that out of the way. Then I'll use my hose to spray all that junk out from the inside towards the outside. Let me show you how it's done. All right, very first thing we'll do is you'll find a box that looks similar to this outside your house. Take the cover up. Yours may be just a little bit different. Sometimes I've seen breakers. Other times you have disconnect switches like this. This should not come down. It's a little dangerous, but because it exposes the terminal block, you've got live voltage here. This is 240 volts, so be very, very cautious. Basically, you'll have a cover where you should not be able to shock yourself to death. All right, now that we've disconnected power to our condenser unit, we're gonna take screws off of the side. Don't take any screws out of the top, but take screws off the side. That'll allow us to lift this entire unit up. These are quarter inch uh, screws. Make sure not to lose any of those. You'll need them later. Once all your, all your screws are out from the outside, it gets the top free for you. I'm going to show you what I'm looking at down inside here. So mine's actually a heat pump, as you can see, and there's obviously just tons of junk down in the bottom as far as leaves and uh, basically everything that we don't want inside there that would try and uh, block up this condenser. So we're gonna take a spray hose and spray from the inside through all of these fins toward the outside of the unit. That's gonna help this uh, unit breathe a lot better and getting all the leaves and junk out of there will also help to make sure that it does not corrode and rot out. So let's get busy. I'll get a shop back and see if I can't take care of this and get my spray hose. Here we go. And if you want to go a step further, guys, you can take these panels off, these side panels off, and there's leaves and crud that'll collect down here. It's supposed to be a gutter system that'll allow water to flow out so you don't rot out this pan underneath your compressor. These just do one at a time. That way there's no confusion about how they go back together.
Well, there we go, guys. I'm out of daylight, but you get the idea. You take panels down, get stuff out of the way, blow dirt out. Um, it's going to extend the life of your condenser unit. Also probably lower your efficiency bill, uh, your electric bill. Um, only other thing that I'm going to do, I won't show on camera, but I'm going to remove the panel that houses my uh, contactor. I'm going to make sure I have a spare one of those. I'll order it from Amazon. And also a um, capacitor. You'll have one for the fan and also for your compressor here. You'll have the same on the indoor unit at the evaporator. There's a blower motor there that has a capacitor uh, that's a good spare to have on hand if you ever need it. It'll save your day. Well, I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Look forward to hearing from you.